Hello everyone, I'm Seokhan Kim from Amazon Alex AI. Today I'm presenting our paper with this title Beyond Domain APIs, Task-Oriented Conversational Modeling with Unstructured Knowledge Access. This work was done by the collaborations with my colleagues Mihal, Kathik, Benam, Yang, and Dilek. The main motivation of this work came from the conventional task-oriented conversations like this. Here in this example, this user is requesting a train with some constraint, which is a typical task-oriented scenario handled by domain APIs or databases. But what if this user is curious about some extra information like the path policy on this train? Unfortunately, this system is not able to answer the question because this is out of the scope from the domain APIs. But we know that this kind of information is usually available somewhere on the web. So the expected next action by this user is to search the information from the web manually in the middle of the conversation with the system. The goal of this work is to automate this process not by the user, but by the system itself. So that the system can provide the information based on the corresponding knowledge sources naturally in the conversation. In this work, we propose this simple architecture which decouples tons that can be handled by existing task-oriented systems with no extra knowledge and other terms that require external knowledge sources. And here we focus only on the second branch with external knowledge by a pipeline sequence with the three main tasks, knowledge seeking turn detection, knowledge selection followed by knowledge grounded response generation. Now let me go through one by one. The first task is Knowledge Seeking Turn Detection, which is basically a binary classification task. The input to this task include the user trends, dialogue history, and knowledge snippets. And the goal of this task is to determine whether a given turn is API-based or Knowledge Seeking Turn. For example, the first user turn here is an API-based turn, while the second user turn is seeking external knowledge. Once a given turn is predicted as a knowledge seeking turn, it goes to the second task for knowledge selection. We formulate this as a pointwise ranking problem for this work, which takes a triple with the target user turns, its dialogue context, and every knowledge candidate. Then we aim to get the relevance class or score between a given pair of contacts and candidate knowledge. In this example, for train pair policy, there could be some similar but irrelevant negative candidates like wheelchair policy on this train or pet policy not for the train but for a hotel like this. So the goal of this task is to find out the corresponding knowledge sources like this to answer the user's request. And then the final task in our pipeline is knowledge grounded response generation. We are taking the user trans dialog history and also the selected knowledge snippets from the previous task, then generate the final system response grounded on the knowledge. For this example, we could expect this kind of system response providing the correct information and being connected naturally from the dialog context. For these tasks, we collected an augmented version of MultiWorlds 2.1 with three crowdsourcing tasks. First, we asked talkers to specify a position to insert a new knowledge seeking term into a given multiverse dialog. Then we collected a user term request at the given term, and finally, talkers completed this conversation with the agent response based on a given knowledge. 
Here are the statistics of the collected data and knowledge sources that we used for this experiment. With this data set, we compared between an unsupervised and a supervised method for each subtask. For knowledge seeking time detection, we evaluated an anomaly detection method considering knowledge seeking terms as outliers against the existing API based terms. We applied local outlier factor, which is an unsupervised algorithm to compare the local densities from nearest neighbors to find anomaly utterances with significantly lower densities. We used the pre-trained BERT as a static encoder to represent both API-based and knowledge-seeking utterances. And we also trained a neural utterance classifier by supervised fine-tuning of pre-trained BERT model. It takes just a single utterance as an input, and the model was trained with binary cross-entropy loss to the ground truth labels from our training dataset. Here is the experimental result with both methods. It shows that the supervised neural classifier achieved almost perfect performances in all the metrics, while the unsupervised baseline has limitations with many false positives. For the knowledge selection task, we compared these three representations TF, IDF, BM25, and pre-trained BERT as a static encoder for unsupervised IR baseline. Here we compute the cosine similarity of each pair of dialogue context and knowledge candidate in a given representation. Then we use the score as the ranking criterion. And a neural relevance classifier was also trained with fine-tuning the BERT. We concatenated both the dialogue context and knowledge candidate and fit this sequence into both to do the binary classification to see whether a given pair is relevant or not. In the training, we had five negative samples randomly selected for each positive instance, and the whole model was trained also with binary cross entropy loss. Here is the result of knowledge selection. For the retrieval method, interestingly, the traditional bag of word representations like TFIDF or BM25 were much better than static BERT encoding. On the other hand, the fine-tuned BERT significantly outperformed all the IR baselines. Finally, for response generation, we compared between an um, extractive and generative approaches. For the answer extraction, we simply take the answer part of the selected knowledge snippet from FIQ with these simple heuristics, and we also developed a neural model for response generation by fine-tuning GPT-2 with ground truth knowledge snippets concatenated along with the input dialog context. This table compares the performances of the method evaluated in automated energy metrics. Basically, the generation models achieved better scores than the extractive baseline for most metrics, and especially the GPT-2 model with knowledge outperformed both the answer extraction baseline as well as the other GPT-2 variant without knowledge. In addition, we did pairwise human evaluations focusing on the two aspect, which response is more appropriate to a given dialogue context, and which response provides more accurate information from a given knowledge snippet. This result shows that our proposed neural response generator was better in both aspects compared to the other baselines when we take the knowledge as an additional input to the model. To summarize, 
We proposed a new research problem on task-oriented conversational modeling grounded on unstructured domain knowledge. And we introduced a new data set with augmentations on multi voice dialogues. And we presented the supervised and unsupervised baseline models and the experimental results on them. Furthering this work, we have been collecting more dialogues, including new domains, entities, and locales from the ones in the original multiwords. And we also plan to collect similar conversations, not based on written text, but actually with speech. For the model side, we are considering the following potential enhancement. The first one is end-to-end -end learning for all the three subtasks instead of the current pipeline process. And the second direction is joint modeling of both knowledge-seeking and API-based branches together. And the other idea is about future transfer learning to handle unseen domain or knowledge sources. One last thing is that now we are organizing a challenge track at DSTC9, targeting the same problems introduced today. We have already released an enhanced data and baseline models from this paper. So if you are interested in our challenge track, please find more details from the links on the QR code. That's it for today. Thanks for your attention.